Okay guys, so now we're at Canto Lampo. So Canto Lampo is, I think, a tree like this. Uh, but where we are, where we're going, anyway, is Campo Lanto Waterfall. So I can only imagine it's called that because it's surrounded by those trees. So it's down through here. I think it's about a 15 minute walk, our man said. Down, through, down, down. Looks like you can swim here. It looks like there's actually, they've actually like built concrete swimming pools even. So they've kind of constructed like a bit more, I guess, controlled swimming pools or something. So we'll head down, see what we can find. It looks pretty epic, like kind of cascading down the, um, the side of the mountain, side of the cliff. See what it's like. I mean, it has been raining yesterday, so it should be quite good. There should still be some water falling down the waterfall. Okay, so we didn't realize, but yeah, there is a ticket. Uh, as you come down here, obviously you've got a couple of orders, uh, like a shop, and then you come here, and you've got a ticket, and then you go down there somewhere. Okay guys, so, the ticket, which we got just up here, uh, cost 20,000. Yeah, that's okay. I think I'm getting used to, like, I think I'm getting used to paying more money, which is, you know, interesting. And then we're walking all the way. There's a little cave there, there's a man in the rock. You can see. Oh, spooky. And then here there's a little temple. You can hear the running water. Oh, there's another man here. down the bottom not of the waterfall the waterfall is actually around there but so up those stairs there's a left or there's a right you come left there are if you come left there are um, caves it says and then this wading pool so this is kind of like a swimming pool situation so like I said so you can actually go in there um, and it feels really like a like an outdoor pool I guess or like a, a natural pool but yet carved and created uh, into the rocks. Unfortunately from what I can see um, you can't really see the front of the waterfall. Ah maybe you have to go uh, looks like maybe you have to go far. Ah. and then you face the waterfall down here. Um, because if you climb down so you turn right at that uh, intersection I told you about before and uh, it's the waterfall yes but the stairs seem to come on the waterfall side you know what I mean so in order to see the waterfall you have to get in the water uh, you'll understand what I mean when we get over that side but yeah I don't know if we'll be able to get like a face forward of the waterfall but still, this whole area, like this whole... Um, yeah, the river, the cliffs here, the wood, all of the other. Um, yeah, and there's like kind of toilets and showers in there as well. Um, I noticed that they do bring uh, fresh water, I'm not sure where, from up, upstairs, like in a tube, and it kind of comes out with these things. And so maybe that as well. Maybe that's fresh water then? Uh, I'm not 100% sure. For me, the water is maybe too um, high. I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, maybe we'll. Oh gosh, go around this way through the caves. Maybe the caves are this way. So as far as my first kind of Indonesian waterfall, actually Balinese Indonesian waterfall, I'm quite um, impressed. You know, usually, I mean, particularly coming from New Zealand, I'm like, waterfalls, what? Yeah, there's waterfalls, sure. But actually, yeah, that one does look quite impressive. Unfortunately, you probably can't see it from here. Maybe if I put the other lens on, 
Um, I think Asha said that she will get into the water. I'm not going to. I don't want to get wet. But I'll go down that side anyway. Maybe from here I'll just take a bit of a shot of that there for you and then move back around. So stand by. I've just been in. She's done her selfies. Very fresh. Yes. Fresh water, although the air is very humid. Like it's really actually very hot and warm and kind of just makes you sweat straight away. Um, but yeah, quite a nice place. Quite nice. Quite nice. Quite nice. Um, yeah, cool. Okay. So I think Ashley wants to sit for a bit. Then we're going to walk up. Um, yeah, really cool. That's pretty cool. I think like I said, you can kind of go up and around and you can kind of come up here and then you maybe you can see you up from here. Maybe you can jump in. I don't know, but it doesn't look that deep actually. It's not that deep. So this was Canto Lampo. Thanks for watching. Uh, we're going to hit up in a bit. Yes, so as you can see, oh, very humid. Um, we're about to head back up, or all the way up there. We're on a little time schedule type situation. Uh, we've only got till six o'clock. It's now 5.30. So we have to kind of get back up. And then he gave us about 20 minutes, he said, to get back to our guest house. So hopefully that's all good. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's maybe head up. Okay, guys, we're going further, 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 further up here, up here, up here, up here, up here. Come all the way up here. This is the last pair of stairs. Pair of stairs? Set of stairs. <sighs> oh, gosh. Things are falling on my head. No monkeys around, don't worry. Don't worry, there's no monkeys. <laughs> there are stairs, though. And more stairs. Humidity is a lot. It's a lot of stuff. Must be more than 100. Must be 110 percent humidity, if that's even possible. Okay, guys. So we are done. Uh, done at the waterfall, and also done for the day. So that kind of concludes uh, our four-part video series of one day. <laughs> Are four things you do in Ubud basically. Um, we're now going to head, head uh, well, get back in the car. Usher's just getting changed. She was obviously uh, dressed for the waterfall, so she, now she's has to redress for the car. Uh, that's it. A lot of things happened. A lot of things. Waterfall and probably uh, the terraces were probably my two favourites, I would say. The first two. We're just a bit overcrowded and a bit touristic really i don't know you know this has more of the natural thing like i didn't actually expect uh for example this to have such an impact on me comparative to like the temples i think so yeah well done waterfall you know i've seen a lot of them we've got some good ones in new zealand i've seen some good ones around the world um but, you know it's nice to see one here this is like the first I guess last of this trip anyway, but maybe we'll see some more when we come back. Because <sighs> we're leaving tomorrow to Malaysia. Uh, okay, but that's tomorrow. Right now, I'm signing off. Uh, we need to get in the car. Need to get back home. Might go out for dinner. Don't know. Might take you with me. Not sure. But 
Until then, until then, until then, until then, until then. Subscribe. Ha ha. Ha ha. Subscribe. Comment down below. Like. Share this stuff. Uh, plenty more to come. Obviously, like I said, we are going to Malaysia next. I think we're spending like one week or so there, maybe two. Uh, then going to Singapore. Then somehow getting back to Ubud, back to Indonesia. Uh, maybe back to Lombok, back to a lot of places. So, you know, just follow along. Maybe hit the bell button like when you know, so you know like when my uh, videos are coming as well. Um, trying to get them out every single day, but obviously when you're spending a whole day doing this, or a whole day traveling, or a whole day just living, it's hard to sit down on a computer and edit. But I will try my best, I'll try my best for you guys to try and get videos out all the time. Uh, if you have any suggestions on anything you've seen, whether the quality or the type of videos or there's something, what more do you want to see? What do you want to see, people? <sighs> I just want to see the world. But I want to take you with me. So let me know how you want me to do that. Okay, guys. That's it for now. Um, until next time, keep on drifting.